Let's talk about forms. In Kahunas, you get the ability to create your own check-in forms and initial Q&As and your daily habits. So we've provided some questions for you, but you can, of course, create any questions that you want to ask your client. You have 100% control over your forms. So on the left-hand side, you're going to see the forms icon down here. So just click on that and you'll see you've got your initial questionnaire. So this is when your client first logs into the app, this will pop up for them to fill out before they can then get into your services. And you'll then receive that so you can go through it before you assign any plans. The check-in form is going to be your weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. However you set up or structure your check-ins, this is your form, your main one that someone's going to use every single week. And then your daily habits is going to be the form where you can ask people to do actionable habits. So perhaps you want to know yes or no, did they go for a, a walk? Did they meditate? Did they use a sauna? Did they wear a nose strip? All those sorts of things um, so that you can over time see their daily habits. And let's take you through and I'll show you the check-in form because a lot of the inputs that are available on the check-in form are available on the other forms as well. So at the top here, if you click add check-in form, we do have a demo one for you we've created, but if you click add check-in form here, and it's gonna load up with the default options that we've set up for you. So I'm gonna put uh, my check-in form, and you don't have to have any of these. So you can either leave all those on, you can turn them off, you can choose some, you can choose all, entirely up to you. And then if you come down here, progress tracking questions, these are all the ones that are related to your client's wearables. So as long as your client is using some type of wearable that connects with either uh, Google Health or Apple Health Kit, it will transfer all of their data automatically to Kahunas. So your clients, when they do their check-in form, they don't even have to fill it out. <laughs> it just synchronizes automatically. They come there, their data's there. They can check it over. If they need to, for any reason, they can edit it. But otherwise, it's just going to pre-populate everything for them, making it as easy as possible. So I'm going to leave all of these checked. And then I'm going to click on Next. And it now asks, do I want to add any additional questions? So you can choose all these different types of questions. You might want to have a rating out of 10. So how do you feel things are going? Um, and you could also set a minimum and a maximum required rating. And then you'll be notified of this in the check-in form when someone submits it, if they didn't quite meet your rating. So perhaps if we take stress as an example, you want your clients to not be stressed out at all. So if your client rated their stress above a five, you'd want that to be highlighted to you so that you know that this is something I need to pay attention to. I need to help my client. So you can add all these different types of questions, upload videos, upload uh, photos, whatever it is that you want to put in here as well. And you can decide whether or not that's going to be required. Um, so I'll put in here a, a test input. And we'll leave it as a, a metric. So anything you define as a metric is we're going to be able to create graphs off of for you. So if you put something like a short answer um, or long answer, we because we don't know that's a number, we can't actually give you that as a graph, like representative of the data. Whereas if you choose metric, we know that that's a number that's going to go up or down and change over time. So we're then able to display that to you in a way that's visually appealing rather than just numbers. So I'm going to click on metric there and then click next. And then here it's going to give you a quick preview of how your check-in form looks. Um, and of course, you can just drag and drop the order into any order you want, whatever the best structure fits the way in which you want someone to fill out your form. And if we scroll down here, once you're all done and good, you're going to click on next. And then that's it. You're going to click save and publish and your custom check-in form is now live. And all you have to do is assign that to your clients. You can set it up as your default check-in form, so automatically it's gonna get assigned to your clients. You might have a group of specific clients if you're um, training people at different types of levels. You could have one that's advanced, one that's basic, one for gen pop, whatever you need. You can create as many check-in forms as you want, and you can assign those to different types of clients. I hope you found this useful. If you need anything at all, as always, just click the little hand in the bottom corner here. There's guides and also you can get in touch with our coaching care team and they'd be happy to help out with anything. Thank you.